Yo guys, this is Mo Vernia and the Move. Right now I'm live in Copenhagen, Denmark, and right now at SP34 Hotel. And inside there are a number of restaurants, and this is one of the restaurants there, and it's called Bar Moritz. And beside me is Chef Catalina, and uh, thanks for having us here. Hi, thank you. And as you can see from the background, this is where all the food is being prepared in a very beautiful kitchen. As you can see, one of two beautiful, two beautiful dishes right here. Very yummy, very delish. Can't wait to test it out. And right now here, where uh, Spanish food and tapas and wine, which is the key motto here is wine, dine and repeat. It's a unique experience for people to share the food with little tiny different, different um, proportion of food so that everybody can share and share the experience together. Beautiful wine here. And this is one of the many restaurants from a uh, very local famous guy, Ken Hustad here. Uh, can you talk about this restaurant? Uh, what kind of experience that you want people to experience here? Well, uh, as you very well you said, is tapas, and the concept is uh, always share, and always in a very informal mood, in the way that um, you order as, as, as soon as you think that you want to eat. Uh, the feeling when you eat the small portions is that uh, you never feel full, so you always want another dish, which uh, will be always different. Uh, we try to export the idea and the feeling of Mediterranean and Mediterranean style, how the way how we eat there, it doesn't matter the country. In this case, it's more Spanish. I'm from Spain, so of course you will feel um, a lot of Spanish flavors. But actually, it's the way how we spend time in the bars, just drinking and ordering food without order and always sharing. That's the, the main uh, concept that we have here, and we will work with this concept. Now, um, Ken, who's that uh, in Jack Love Spanish uh, style restaurant in Denmark, Copenhagen? Uh, what, what do you think is uh, uh, this, the, the success uh, factor that helped promote Spanish food in Copenhagen here? Sorry, how? Oh, so, Ken, who's that? Uh, very famous in a number of restaurants, and there are Spanish restaurants. Uh, what do you think is successful, why is successful in Copenhagen with the Spanish food and his uh, number of restaurants here? Well, because I think many people go to Spain. Uh, many people is attracted uh, to Spain for the food. Of course, the weather and the places, but uh, especially everybody says every, always about food. They always speak about food. I think Ken uh, took very well this idea because he feel it. That's why he's... His print is very is very clear in all his restaurants, and also the way that he always works in this direction, small portions and always sharing because it's the best. It's the best uh, to try different food and different wines. Uh, Moritz is one of the restaurants I think more close in a um, Spanish concept, uh, far from the traditionals and stereotypes from my country. Uh, in this place is very original food and very original style from Barcelona. He really catched the feeling and we are doing very well. I can say that, yeah. So you, you mentioned that you're from Barcelona and how do you uh, bring the, the Spanish food but then bring in your own style of cooking into the, the food the, the dishes here? Oh, so um, so you, you're from Barcelona, so you bring your cooking from Barcelona, but I also noticed that you add in your style within in there too. Yes, exactly. I don't work with traditional recipes, or maybe yes, but always with a twist. Uh, are my food is my style, is my is my baggage, my my background for many years in Spain, in Barcelona, in South of France, in Italy, also South America. So I catch everything I can. And that's my, that's my stamp also. That's yes, from as I said before, from this octopus that is super traditional recipe, pulpa la gallega. Everybody knows. My my interpretation is uh, with whiskey and with uh, violet potato. Visually, is like the traditional one, but there is a twist. So my print is in every dish for sure. Yeah, this one, as you said, is very beautiful. A lot of organic plants, uh, vegetarian vegetarians here, uh, seasonal. It's very beautiful here. Yes, I work only with seasonal products. When the asparagus finish, this dish will disappear take next year, maybe. And always trying to, to find a sense in the food and why we eat 
this like this. So the contrast with the strawberry, with the pepper, with the seasonal aspargus, and promotioning our cheeses from Spain, in this case from the Balearic Islands. So makes sense in a restaurant where we work with Spanish products and we try to give um, the Mediterranean style, living life outside, sitting, drinking, without time to go home, yes. just spending time. That's beautiful. Uh, how important is wine pairing with tapas? In, 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 in for this kind of dish? Well, in Moritz, we are very lucky that we have a lot of wines from everywhere. The 30% of the menu is um, Spanish wines, and the rest is from everywhere. Uh, I'm lucky the way that I have all these wines, so I have to make maridash to make sense when you are eating. So the correct wine, that's why we have... Um, our waiters, they have a lot of knowledge, and we have a sommelier, which helped me a lot to make the dishes and to explain to the customers that every dish more or less has kind of wines that will help to have better flavors when you are eating so the experience becomes better and better so I'm gonna get more can you ask some questions so um, being from Spain you used to actually have one of the top restaurants in the world El Boli for a number of years and now you're in Copenhagen where Noma is also a top restaurant in the world how has that been um, important? Are you able to draw any inspirations from being in both countries where it was a top restaurant in the world? So I'm lucky again in the way that I come from the... Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. I'm happy that I I'm come pro I'm come from the capital of the gastronomy. And right now the capital of gastronomy is Copenhagen. And you can feel it. This is, you can feel this fact. Uh, people is more curious. Restaurants are going more up because people is more demanding, so which is very good for us. And I think Noma is opening a lot of doors and is making the road more large for all the chefs we are here because they are the referent people who, after being in Noma, they have the panoramic open even line. open. Yeah. So when they come in a small restaurants like Moritz, like other kind of restaurants that we are really creative, so they are already excited to try more things because they lose uh, this fear about food. Mm -hmm. I'm going to like you know, trust in the chef because we really do a good job. Can you explain how you put your traditional twists on Spanish? This, for example, when I went to the Mediterranean or even go to Spanish restaurants back home in Toronto, um, octopus would just be simply char grilled. And even the razor clam would be char grilled with butter and garlic. Very simple preparation. You integrated the purple yam with the sliced octopus with traditional paprika on the top. Um, how do you inter uh, reinvent the dish? I always look back. I always go to the original recipe, and I'm talking about maybe 200 years ago, uh, even far, be bef even before when America was discovered, so I don't have uh, a lot of ingredients. From there, I get the flavors, the traditional and the most um, original flavors, and I adapt this in the new days. I don't invent anything. I'm, I'm not creative in the way that I'm not inventing anything. Everything is done. Only Ferran Adria is the, the one who can invent something. For people that are new to uh, Spanish cuisine, um, what is your recommendation of signature dishes or how many items should they be ordering to get the full Spanish experience? Here? Yes. In Moritz? Definitely the octopus. The, um, we have the foie gras with, the, um, with a French toast and Pedro Ximenez with orange also. This is a really star plate I have here. We also have the half-cooked tartare with porcini mayonnaise and foie gras inside. And of course our loins and our tuna cans that we export and is uh, also our face. Um, I would recommend so much to try our tuna in can because many people just think that because it's in a can is low quality and actually this is the opposite. We have a really large tradition to conserve in cans and our quality is really high. Mm -hmm. we, that's why we also are exporting this. So I will keep these four dishes. Octopus, the half-cooked tartare, the, um, the foie gras with orange and Pedro Ximenez and the tuna. And what, what is your favorite type of ceviche to prepare? 
the most funny, the most the dish I like. Yeah, that you enjoy most. Right now, with the menu I have, I could say the octopus. It's the most delicate. Uh, it's simple, but you really have to know how to cook it well, because otherwise it's a chewing gum. It's very, yeah, it's very easy <laughs> to overcook. Very exactly. Balance. So it's the, it's the dish that uh, is always testing me, let's say, when I cook. So I have to put a lot of passion and a lot, a lot of attention when, when we do and when we cut the octopus to keep the skin around. In Spain, we have competitions right. with octopus, so it's really special uh, seafood for us. Perfect. So back to my brother for final thoughts. So, you know what, as you can see, I can't wait to try these beautiful dish right here, made by Chef Catalina. And as well, SP34 Hotel has everything. It's the Petit Hotel, it has top-notch restaurants. You can get the Spanish experience here at Bar Maritz. And this is a beautiful pairing with wine, everything. And thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks for making the beautiful, delicious food for us. If you choose Copenhagen, Denmark as your destination, check out SP34. Even come over for the restaurant for a good experience you can experience here. And Mulverney is out of here from Copenhagen, Denmark.